the annual May Day Parade, celebrating the victory over Nazi Germany by the Soviet Union. It's held in Moscow through Red Square in front of Lenin's tomb and between the Kremlin and Gum or Tsum department store. I have visited Russia and Moscow many times over the years. The Russians put on a magnificent show during their Victory Day parade. I used to say in the Kempinski or occasionally the Interest Hotel overlooking Red Square and the Kremlin. Once, when visiting the National Common Bank, I was asked if I had any nuclear weapons negotiating experience. The National Common Bank was in charge of negotiating Russian-Soviet debt, and they wished the nuclear weapons arsenal to be included in the negotiations. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the answer was no. I had a proposal to offset their non-performing debt by restructuring their non-performing assets, but I had no experience of negotiating weapons and nuclear weapons particularly. I learned about the Russians' nuclear arsenal, the different rockets and missiles, and technology that the Russians had available. Much of the Russian nuclear arsenal is mobile, driven on big, long trucks. And examples are driven through Red Square on the annual Victory Parade. The backbone of the Russian nuclear arsenal is the Topol missile, originally developed during the Soviet Union years, but then later has been updated. The new model, Topol Model M, is featured in this video. Here is a picture of the model Topol M. I used to wonder how these huge, long trucks could be driven through Red Square. Two drivers of these massive trucks explain what it's like to drive these huge vehicles on the road and across country. Of course, they work in both summer and winter through the snow. This makes them very hard to track by satellite or other means. This version can be launched from a train carriage. Again, this makes it very hard to track the missiles. The RT-2PM2 
double hyphen M, otherwise known as the Siggy B. The Siggy B was an ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile on a mobile platform. Its origin is Russia and it's been in service since December the year 2000, used by the Russian strategic missile troops. It was designed in the Moscow Institute Thermal Technology. Siggy B is manufactured by the Vodkins machine building plant. Manufacturing started in December 1994 and finished in 2010. It has a mass of 47,000 kilograms. Its length is 22.7 meters and has a diameter of 1.93 meters. The Topol M carries a warhead with an 800 kiloton yield. It has six warheads and additional decoys. The Siki B or Topol M has the highest accuracy of any Russian ICBM. It has an accuracy rate to within 200 meters of the exact target. Its operational range is 11,000 kilometers, more than enough to hit targets in Europe or North America. It has a maximum speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour or Mach 22. It has a three-stage solid fuel rocket. This means this missile can be maintained on alert for prolonged periods of time. The missile can be launched in minutes of being given the order. The principal designer of Ziggy B was called Yuri Solomonov. The Ziggy B was developed in the 1980s as a response to the American Strategic Defense Initiative. Topol M missiles have a minimum lifetime between 15 and 20 years. They are designed to counter and evade the US missile defense system. It is capable of making evasive maneuvers to avoid interceptor missiles. It carries interceptor countermeasures and decoys. Topol M or Siggy B is a formidable system. Here we see the specs for the Soviet Topol. And here we see the specs for Topol M. To my great surprise, I learned during making this video that the Russians have given the North Koreans the Topol system and the supporting Topol platform and guidance system. The Topol system is very advanced and I didn't realize that the North Koreans had such technology at their fingertips. The US has a real problem on its hands. The Russians have the world's biggest nuclear arsenal. The Topol is by no means their largest nuclear missile, nor its most advanced system. A nuclear strike by any of today's warring parties would be beyond catastrophic. Please pray that nobody ever uses these weapons. Here we can see a topple test explosion. <laughs> 